In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, draw a roof outline, a flat roof outline from a satellite image. So we're going to tap on a work order. What I've done at this point is I've uh, preloaded a work order with a satellite image uh, already loaded into it. You can't load a satellite image on the device at this point. We're doing that in the future. So right now you make a facility, you make a work order, and in the base work order, add the satellite image that you want. And then when I tap into my work order, first come to the info screen, then I'm going to come over and tap on drawing. And uh, it shows me a blank drawing. And uh, there's the menu button here. If you're on a, uh, a large format tablet, the menu button is going to be up here. So I'm going to tap that, and it has an option called Show ePlan. So if I tap that, then it's going to display the ePlan for me. So this is just if I want to have a a look at the ePlan. Uh, if I tap the menu button again, there's an option called refre Refresh ePlan from Server. So if it's the wrong building, uh, what you can do is you can call the office, have them switch the uh, proper satellite image in, and then you hit Refresh, and that'll give you the new satellite image. Of course, you have to have an internet connection for that. The other option here is the page setup, and if you tap that, you have an option to set the paper size, the orientation. Um, uh, scale drawing to fit page, just leave that set. And uh, these, uh, the paper size and the orientation will be default, defaulted to what your default is uh, in RoofLogic um, under the My Company Preferences area. So I'm going to just tap OK on that. And uh, now I'm going to tap on the Roofs tab. So now I'm on the Roofs tab. First thing I need to do is add a roof and give it a name. Uh, actually, before that, I tap the menu button, and I've got to add a building. So you've got to have a building first, and buildings have one or more roof sections. So I tap Add Building. Uh, mobile suggests the name Building 01. I'm just going to tap OK. So there's my building in the upper left. Now I need a, to add a roof to that. So I tap the menu button again. Choose Add Roof. Again, it suggests the name, and it wants to know which building it's on. So it is on building one. That's my only building. And in this case, it's a flat roof. Then I'm going to tap OK. OK, the roof uh, is shown here in green, uh, meaning that it has an activity. Um, uh, so whenever you add a roof, it automatically has what we call an activity inside RoofLogic, and that has meaning in, in RoofLogic client. So now what I do is I tap on the roof itself. And we're in Rufe. You can see in the upper left it tells you where we are, Rufe. Now I'm not going to run through all the options. I'm going to go directly to drawing the roof outline here. Uh, everything that you fill in here is in another video. So I'm going to go tap the drawing tab. And uh, there's my uh, uh, satellite image. And you've got the crosshair in the middle. And you have a choice of crosshair on or crosshair off by hitting this button in the lower left. Uh, if you're working with just your finger, it's kind of tough to work without the crosshair. If you have a nice stylus, it, it actually works pretty good if you've got a nice fine tip stylus. Um, I prefer the crosshair on, uh, especially in 2.9 version. I'm going to show you why. So next, what we're going to do is going to tap on the menu option. And then we're going to go to uh, ePlan. And there's a bunch of options underneath there. We can hide the ePlan. We're going to calibrate a scale. We're going to align it to the page. Aligned to drawing means if you have an existing drawing and you need to reshift the satellite image under the drawing so it fits perfectly, uh, that's something you can do. And then uh, refresh, get get a new satellite image uh, from the server. You can hit that. But if you got the image you want, you don't need that. So we're just going to go align to page. This is the normal steps you'll take. So I tap align to page, and it says trace a near horizontal line on the page to align the image to the page. So Basically, you take a line that you want to be parallel with the bottom of your page on your screen. So, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I use my finger to slide the image underneath the crosshair. And I'm just going to get it close to the corner here. Now, if you're in 2.8, you have to slide the image till it's exactly on that line. So what we want to do is we want to get the crosshair Basically, right in the middle of that line is going to be the easiest. So I'm going to zoom in. That's going to help a lot. And then you see I got my crosshair right there. If you're pre-2.9, you got to slide the image with your finger. The nice thing about 2.9 is if you tap the line above 
to the right, to the left, or below the crosshair, it will nudge. It's our nudge feature. So you tap above the crosshair and it will nudge the image uh, or basically nudge the crosshair down is the effect you see and one pixel at a time. So the closer you're in, the, the less distance a pixel uh, consists of on the drawing. So when you're zoomed way out, one pixel actually could represent a foot uh, or more. Uh, when you're zoomed way in, it could just be inches. So when I tap here, I can tap, use all these different, all four lines to tap until I get it right in place. And that's the, the beauty of the new nudge feature in 2.9. But I'm going to tap right in. Now when I want it, actually lay down a point, I tap within the circle. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I slide the image. I want to get to the other end of this line. And you notice I wasn't directly on the corners. In terms of aligning to the page, you don't need to be on the corner. We're not measuring the length of that wall. Um, we're just trying to get uh, we're just trying to get a line drawn that we want to be parallel to the bottom of the page. So again, I slide the image. I get myself in position in 2.9, I nudge my cursor to place, tap in the middle of the circle, and you see the drawing shifts slightly. So uh, I think I got it lined up pretty good, but the way to do it now is zoom out and um, put your crosshair over top of a couple of walls, like here and like here. And if that looks pretty good, then you're all set. If not, you need to uh, align the image once again. So now what I'm going to do I've got that done. I'm going to uh, tap on the menu here. Now I need to calibrate a scale. So I go tap on ePlan. I tap Calibrate Scale. And a little message is going to come up and tell you to uh, measure one of the walls. So when I do that, there's the message. Trace a line to calibrate the scale. So now it's the same deal, except now I do want to be on the corner. So I want to be very accurate. And I can zoom in if I'm not confident that I'm on the corner. Use that nudge feature to get it perfect. And your accuracy is going to be amazing. So I'm going to tap a point, go to the other wall, nudge it into place, tap that point. Now it says, how long is that line? So I'm going to put in 107 feet, 0.6. And that means 6 inches. It's not 0.6 of a foot. RoofLogic understands that when you say 0.8, it's 8 inches. 0.6 is 6 inches. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to tap OK. Now I've got a scale, and you see your keyboard may be still sitting up on the screen, so if you hit the back button, the Android back button, that'll take that away. So now we're set to draw the roof. So what I'm going to do in the bottom left, when, you, when the roof has not been drawn, you're going to see the Draw Roof button. That's all you can do. So I tap on that, and then what I got at the bottom left now is I got Ortho Mode, Crosshair, and a Layout Wizard. Uh, layout Wizard would be what you use if you don't have a satellite image. So we're not going to touch that. That's another tutorial. Um, crosshair is the large crosshair that you see. Like I say, I like to keep that on, especially with that nudge feature. And ortho mode, make sure that your lines are straight. It, it, it runs at 15 degree angles. So every time you move, it'll jump 15 degrees. And uh, we found that most buildings, even though they have odd looking angles, are typically in 15 degree increments. Uh, if you run into an odd angle that isn't, you're going to tap the O button to turn it off, hit the corners that you want to draw, and then tap O to put it back on again. You can do that as many times as you like. So now I've got my crosshair on the corner. I'm going to nudge it into place, and then I tap, and here you see I'm now on the other corner, and then I'm, ju I'm just nudging, tapping, 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 tapping into place. Okay, now here's another option. If I don't like the point that I just laid down here, so I don't like that line, then what you got in the bottom is you got a back button. You also have a done and cancel. Now you don't want to hit done until you're really done. Then there's cancel, and cancel lets you start right from the beginning. So I just want to hit back, and you can see it removed that line across the bottom. I'm ready to lay down the point again. But we're going to throw in another twist. In this case, we're going to tap on arc. And when we do that, it's a little hard to see on my image here, but there's actually, oh, there it is. When I tap arc, see there's a dashed line. That indicates you're drawing an arc. So what it wants is it wants me to tap the end point, which is there. And then when I move my cursor, it'll put a bow or a radius. And if I had an arc on the satellite image here, of course, I would just match up the depth of the arc to what it is on the image. Tap in the middle of the circle. 
and I got my arc in place. Now the arc checkbox is still on, so you're going to want to tap that to turn it off. Then we're going to put in our final lines. Now your the last line, just nudge it left and right in this case until you get see no no hitches in the line, perfectly straight. And then tap your final point, and then you're ready to hit done. When you hit done, uh, you're out of drawing mode, and you're going to see the label uh, roof A is going to be stamped on the roof, which of course you can move that label uh, anywhere you want. And that's how you draw a flat roof outline from satellite imagery.